Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today is the 31st and a new yeah uh and a new episode has been unlocked. Well I mean it is unlockable now, but it seems I haven't met the conditions yet. Alright, so I'll have to collect a few event points and I'll just be back with that. Okay, I'm back and uh Finally, here uh, it is. I've unlocked the. Uh, I've unlocked episode three. Duelist has appeared. Win against ambitious Duke, and he's in dual monsters. Right. Let's start the duel. Let's see. Choose your opponent's level. Level forty is unlocked after completing this episode, so we'll have to go against level twenty. For now, ambitious Duke. Um. EX skill dice roll. In duels against ambitious duke, both you and him can use the EX skill dice roll. Roll a die and then use the effect based on the result and win the duel. Okay, kind of interesting. Rare black dice. By dueling ambitious duke, you can roll a rare black die that lets you roll a star. Nah, okay. I see. So just like before, I'm going to be bringing Silent Swordsman, and of course, in events, um, you know, there's no, there's nothing wrong with using dual items here, especially because, um, well, they're there, and they're not that hard to get, honestly. So yeah, might as well use them. Let's see if we can rack up some nice points with this. Oh, this is a cool looking stage. Hey. I mean, Yugi is already the actual king of games. What do we get? Oh no, that does not look good. There's no applicable card on the applic sorry applicable card on the field. What was the effect? I missed that. Um, can I go into the logs and take a look? Let's see. Sorry about that. Do log. Destroy one random card on your opponent's side of the field. Oh, so that was actually that was actually a good skill. Okay, let's just go ahead and take a look at the skills here. Uh, roll a die at the beginning of your turn and apply the effect corresponding to the roll. If we get a star, add a random monster from deck to hand. If we get, I believe this is the spell card icon, add a random spell to hand. Then there's add a random uh, trap. Then there's uh, during this turn the attack and defense of monsters you control increase by 1000. Okay. Increase your life points by 1000. Destroy one random card on your opponent's side of the field. Oh, so none of these are like bad effects for you. I see. Um, it's pretty good. So why don't we go ahead and actually just summon this card since he can be a giant beat stick after a couple after a while we'll also just set this down just in case and uh we'll just leave that in our hand i see what does he roll please don't okay he didn't destroy our monster so that's good cyclone cyclone laser um okay Right, so this happens during uh, their standby phase. We're not gonna use that yet. Oh, okay. Okay, he's not attacking this turn, so we're good. Right, hopefully we get a monster in our hand. Oh, okay, that's pretty good, but we also want... Okay, good, we've got a monster. Uh, we're not using that yet gonna just summon this we're not gonna XC summon but in case you are wondering what I have to XC summon is just Utopia and Zubaba General yeah so uh, Zubaba General because mainly there's a lot of warrior type monsters here so he can be a giant beat stick later on uh, alright let's attack that hits good thing too otherwise 
would have taken damage if it wasn't for the dice roll earlier. And now we swing with, yep, our Silent Swordsman. This will give him 1000 attack and I think we win the duel. Let's not activate his skill. And there you go. Oh, it was 1500. Was it 1500? Oh well. No, I think it was 1000, yeah. It was kind of quick, but it was level 20 and well, it was alright. At least, uh, because if you lose, there's not really much you can do. You don't really get anything as well. So at least, you know, you want to win as fast as possible. I don't really want to take risks. I think how this is going to work is once we get all of these dice open up, opened up, we unlock Duke. That's what I think is going to happen, but I'm not sure. Okay. There's no shame losing a duel this awesome. Uh, Alright. Whatever you say, man. And now, memories of an encounter. Uh, number three, broken bond. Hmm. Alright. I took out one of Duke's heart points. Heart point? Oh, I think that's the li equivalent of life points in his game, I suppose. I'm surprised you managed to damage me in my game. But then again, you did have the smarts to solve the Millennium Puzzle. Even without my puzzle, the bond I have with my friend inside the puzzle can never be broken. Because we fought together through thick and thin. <laughs> and we'll keep fighting together in the future, because I refuse to lose this battle. With one last attack, I win! But you'll never get that chance, Yugi. What's taking so long? Stop clowning around and mop the mop up this kid. Is that what is that what he should really be saying? Isn't he too old for this? Dad uh, it's the guy who snatched my millennium puzzle. Stealing from a kid. How shameless. Listen, kid, you're not the one who deserves the puzzle. Duke does. Dad, this is my fight. Let me handle it on my own. No, Duke. I'll help you by hurting him. Ah, oh, now that's just illegal. Oh, that's what the manga panel says. Ha. Okay. What are you what are you going to do with my millennium puzzle? Is he going to try to Oh, he is going to try to smash it. He's going to say that. I'm going to smash it to pieces and get my revenge on Solomon. Don't do it. Smash set shatter. <laughs> Should I should I read the sound effects? Ah! Oh no! I mean, of course, it's not going to be enough to actually get rid of the Pharaoh. Level forty Duke will now appear in Duel World. All right. So we have to duel a bunch of times, and then he'll show up. Of course, we can duel him anytime at the event gate over here. But anyways, for now, that was episode three. I think I'm just going to end this video soon. I know it's a short one, but uh, we do have a couple more episodes, so short videos are alright, right? Anyways, how to unlock uh, the next episode? Let's see. Um, win a duel against Ambitious Duke level 40 and complete episode 3, which we just did. So we just have to win against Ambitious Duke in level 40. Alright, so I'm going to go back and do that. Okay, I'm back, and uh, yep, I just beat Duke Devlin, and now Memories of Encounter uh, number four has been unlocked. Resonating power. Hmm. Ah, ah, he's just, all right, the, uh, it broke. Yugi, I'm sorry about what happened to your Millennium Puzzle. But it still doesn't change the fact that whoever wins this match gets to own the puzzle. The rules are the rules. Everything will be alright if I can rebuild the puzzle and get you back. Here I go. If I can just get rid of one more heart point, I'll defeat Duke. But I can't find a space to open my dice. Yugi, you're running out of time because I attack fast. Dice roll. I destroy two creatures in a row. <laughs> Give up, Yugi. This is one game where you won't make a comeback. That's not true. 
He's got the protagonist power. Is it really over for me? The millen the Millennium Puzzle is mine, Yuhi. Heh heh heh. So what if you own the puzzle, Duke? You can do anything with it. Who are you? Oh, it's Bakara. Should have known. Even after thousands of years, there's only one person who deserves to possess the puzzle. And that's Yugi. B Bakura? Well, that was a surprise, I guess. Because, well, I didn't remember this part on in the anime, if it was. So it was, uh, yeah, episode 3 and 4. So, um, I'm sorry that this video, by the way, probably took a while to get out. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it anyway, and I hope you're gonna... Look forward to the next one where we cover the final two episodes, 5 and 6. Because they both come out on April uh, 2nd. Um, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.